that that that's not bad okay let's go with that so this will become our snare uh, 5b and it replaces 2b one time and then we reserve the right to change our minds later and we're trying to keep it keep the drum parts supporting each other the bass and the snare are talking to each other they are their own rhythmic melody with their own shape in there it's not an up and down shape and pitch but it's a it's a compressing and expanding shape along the horizontal dimension horizontal dimension horizontal dimension as we might say so so sirs and madams wherever you are this is a recap of composing a ballad in C full tonality, part 12, melody, shape, and rhythm, part two. <laughs> and what, what we have done is add a snare to our ballad, rhythm, and drum model. And in order to get to adding that snare from where we were last time, where we added the bass drum, uh, we used a, another app called uh, Drumbit like this and uh, worked out like that and and found that it played well so that was good and then we uh, we also mentioned that we had looked for inspiration from uh, actual scores for uh, Scotland the Brave, which has a very strong um, snare part in it. And this, this is drum notation, right stick, left stick, and little flan symbols and all that. Uh, and, and also this. And ignoring the bagpipes for the moment. Ignoring the bagpipes for the moment. We watched the hands, and when the stick was up, and then bang down, and and the and the and the sticks took turns coming up and down. And so we were inspired by that. Uh, and then reality ensued, and we kept it simple, but we've gotten up to the part of, learn, of using something called tremolos. And a tremolo adds just a little bitty bit of brump bump. Here it is. Bump, brump, bump. So here is where we have gotten so far. We've added a two bar intro to kind of get us going. Boom, boom. And then we launch into, this is just uh, the very first variation, uh, melodic rhythm and bass and snare. Here we go. So that's not bad, eh? And it might sound even better if we if we let the uh, the bass drum have its full part. We're gonna play that one more time. We had we had temporarily muted the bass drum down there.
and just to highlight that the in particular the key fun thing is we had remembered that we had changed the um, what we call the base uh, the second base variation at one location right here where we have this handoff and these passing notes and so we also made a special snare that hands off in there dun, 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 dun. and so this is one of the most pleasing parts to us at the moment in the composition it, just that handoff right in there and then now we're supporting the handoff that the pitches down here uh, handed off because they are um, dyads here and then it's especially sweet in the first well that is the first variation here we go again Da, da, da. And that's what we're reinforcing here with the with the snare. Da, da, da. Like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. As always, we will continue this in the next part. Uh, we're pleased that we have broken through into using uh, drum components and added that extra beat to um, to the composition and we look forward to seeing you in the next stream and as always keep on streaming <laughs>